Hi guys, so I started off with wet hair. Now normally you would do this step in the shower just because I think it's easier, but I'm not in the shower so I'm just gonna show you real quick how I do this. So my hair is damp, I wetted it down, and as you can see, it's already really like naturally curly. <laughs> okay, so the product that I'm using, it's Curls Up by FX Special Effects. I really, really like this. Um, it does contain silicone, so uh, any of you curly girls that don't go for silicones, you might want to try something else. Um, I found that this works for my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in and I'm going to work the product through. I need a lot of it. <laughs> Now remember, you would be in the shower doing this, and then after you get done, you would run a little bit of water back over top of it just to reform your curls like you can see mine are kind of breaking apart, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about it. All right. And if you want to, you can scrunch your hair up. That seems to help encourage a lot of the curls to come out. Or wavies, whatever you have. I have spirals. My hair is kind of mixed. Okay, so next you're going to need a hair dryer and a diffuser. Uh, I got this one at Sally's Beauty Supplies for, I believe it's $8.99. Um, it's got something called tor tor Torment something. It's about ions. I don't know. Uh, I just thought it was better looking than the plain black one. So I went ahead and got this. And it says it's universal and it fits over any type of hair dryer. Um, I have two hair dryers and it worked on one and didn't work on the other. So it's kind of like, you know, one of them 50 50 things. So you just go ahead and you're just going to snap it on. And you want to be careful too because sometimes these bad boys will fall off. So if you want to, you could use some duct tape. But I'm not that ghetto, so I'm not going to use duct tape right now. Now what you're going to do is you want it on a warm setting. You don't want it on hot. You want it on warm. And you want it on low air. You don't want it full blast blowing all over the place because it's just going to mess everything up. You want it on a low setting with a warm heat. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this before I actually turn this on because it gets loud. Um, you're just going to take your hair and you're just going to put it in there and you're going to twist just a little bit and you want to keep the twist in the same direction. That means when you go all the way around your head, you want to twist it whatever way you're doing it. That way your curls stay uniform and they're not twisting every which way. Now the heat is going to make these little fingers here warm up. They don't get really hot. They just warm up and that helps form the curls and they set really pretty. And because it's not so much air at once, it ke helps keep the frizz down, which is what we want. Because frizz and curly hair, oh my god, it's a hot mess. So I'm going to go ahead and start and it'll probably be in triple speed, so enjoy. All right, so you want to stop blow drying right before your hair completely dries. You still want it just the tiniest bit damp. That way it, it can finish like naturally drying on its own and it'll, it'll curl up even more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my hairspray. I personally, I like hairspray. I think it helps keep the shape longer when you're rustling around or whatnot and it helps keep the frizz down. And it's really windy out so I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. And I use uh, Nexus Comb Through. It's like a finishing spray, a really light finishing spray. And I'm just going to go ahead and very lightly put that on. 
you don't want to touch your curls too much because that will contribute to them frizzing. So I'm very, handle them very, very carefully. It also helps um, when you're done using the warm air to shoot a cool blast um, of cold air over it and it'll help like really lock it in. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. These are my my natural curls. They'll look a lot better once they're finished, like completely drying. Like I said, they're they're almost there, but they're not quite there. So um, I'm going to time lapse a little bit, and I'll come back and show you what they look like when they're drying. Hi everybody. So this is the end result that we were going for. We wanted a um, a defined curl or whirly, whatever you have, with minimal to no frizz and that's what we got here um it's completely dry you can touch it now it's really soft it's not crunchy i mean it's just i just really like it i just think that the diffuser is like the best thing ever and i wish i knew more about it when i was younger but i don't know if you can see like that spiral there is so well defined and there's hardly any frizz coming off of it so i really hope that um this tutorial helped uh, anybody that has problems with frizz out and um, like always rate subscribe and